Hello, welcome to watch this video about importing SSF data to TBC. If you are a fan of Trimble MGIS products, you will know that an SSF file is prepared for the GPS Pathfinder Office software and it's converted from 9 TerraSync field files, where the geometry and attributes of features are collected. Besides the option of processing the SSF in Pathfinder Office, now users can also process the data in TBC. We will go through the basic data transfer workflow first to demonstrate how to convert TerraSync files to SSF. Then we will show you how to import and process the SSF data in TBC. If you are familiar with the data conversion, you may jump to 3 minute 45 seconds of this video and continue watching. To convert the file format, we will run data transfer utility, which can be downloaded from the link on the screen. I have saved the TerraSync files to a local folder, so I need to configure a GIS file path to read these files. If you have the raw files still on your handheld, such as a Geo7X, make sure you have cabled the device to your computer and it has been recognized by Windows Mobile Device Center. Then data transfer utility will detect the port automatically. Click device to start configuring. Create a new device. Choose GIS folder from the list. Browse to the folder where TerraSync files are stored. Then tell the utility what data it should expect. In this case, it should come from TerraSync version 3.x and above. Rename this new virtual device so it can be found quickly next time. Now we can connect to this device or the folder. Make sure the Receive tab is the active tab, then click Add to retrieve the TerraSync files. Only one file is displayed to represent the 9 file package. You may change the destination folder so the converted SSF file can be saved to a different location. Click Open. With the desired TerraSync file in the window, click Transfer All to convert this project to a single SSF file. The data transfer and conversion are now complete. Let's import this SSF to TBC. Create a new project. The SSF file only records let long coordinates of the features, so it's necessary to define a proper projection if a local coordinate is required. Go to the Project Settings, Coordinate System, and select a desired projection. Drag and drop the SSF file to TBC. Notice that all the observations will enter TBC as a continuous segment. Double check other raw data. Then click OK. This data was collected without any real-time correction. To post-process the data, you could import a nearby base station manually 
in T02 or RINAX format. Drag and drop them to TBC. And check if their duration covers the whole dataset session. If you don't have your own base station nearby, you can go to the GIS tab, Internet Download, and choose a predefined base station or reference station. Open the configuration window. Create a new site. Trimble keeps a record of available base stations in our database. If you haven't used this list for a while, select Download the up-to-date list. Otherwise, simply click OK. Now you can see all the base stations sorted by their distances to the dataset. Select the one you'd like to use, then tap OK. OK again and close the window. Next, we need to download the correct session from this base station. Select the station, then click Automatic. TBC has analyzed our dataset for the duration, so the same duration will be used for base file download. Click Import. This station is about 9 kilometers away from the center of the data set. With the overlapping session, we can now process the baseline. TBC starts the processing once the command is open. Since all the observations are treated as one trajectory, we cannot see the typical precision information from this window. To evaluate the result, use the small arrow to highlight this trajectory, then click Report. Choose the same session from the left side. Now the detailed report is available. If you're familiar with the Pathfinder Office data processing, you will see a lot of similarity in this report. Save the baseline processing result. You may compare the line smoothness with undo and redo buttons. What can we do with this data? First, we can look at some features attributes. Select a sidewalk line string. Open the properties pane. Some attributes were collected in the field but the table is not complete. We can update those empty attributes in the office. When all the features are ready for export, you can choose to go to the GIS tab, Export Feature Attributes. From here, you can export all the attributes into a spreadsheet.
You may also use the regular export command and choose from various GIS exporter formats. We can also create other deliverables from this data. For example, I want to create a surface with all these landscape polygons. Go to the Surfaces tab, Create Surface. Use Control and Click to select all the polygons to be the surface members. And create a terrain model. This surface can guide my future job site construction. This concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.